Please rise. Let us build a house where love can dwell and all can safely live. A place where saints and children tell how hearts learn to forgive. Built of hopes and dreams and visions, rock of faith and vault of grace. The love of Christ shall in division. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, <coughs> the Lord be with you to serve these sacred mysteries in honor and memory of St. Monica, we present ourselves before our God and ask for his forgiveness. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who consoled the sorrowful, and who mercifully accepted the monthly tears of St. Monica for the conversion of our son, Augustine, Grant us through the intercession of them both that we may bitterly regret our sins and find the grace of your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Sosthenes, our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth, to you who have been sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be holy, with all those everywhere who call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The Word of the Lord. Our response to this reading I will praise your name forever, Lord. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. 
I will praise your name forever, Lord. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous works. I will praise your name forever, Lord. They discourse of the power of your terrible deeds and declare your greatness. They publish the fame of your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your justice. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Stay awake, for you do not know when the Son of Man will come. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour at night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too, you also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Who then is the faithful and prudent servant, whom the Master has put in charge of his household to distribute to them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant, whom his Master on his arrival finds him doing so. And then I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that wicked servant says to himself, my master is long gone, delayed, and begins to beat his fellow servants and eat and drink with drunkards, the servant's master will come on an hour and expected day at an unknown hour and will punish him severely and assign him a place with the hypocrites, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, as we celebrate the memory of St. Monica, we remember what she lived for and what she devoted herself to, our faith. She was born in North Africa and married to a Christian man, the husband known as Patrick. She struggled with both the husband and the son because both of them were not in line with our faith. So she kept on crying to God, petitioning him to listen to her prayers for the son and for the husband. And she kept the undying faith that continuously she persisted and waited in hope for her petition to be responded to by God. She never let go of her tears flowing down day and night for the sake of the husband and the son and more particularly, the Son. Our faith was founded on our firm belief that she had a listening God. Today she gives to us an example of our spiritual parenting for our children and for those relatives in our families, even friends, we are not only parents to our children in this world, physically and providing for them, we also 
parent these children in a spiritual way. She was a parent to her son in this world and at the same time in the spiritual world, praying for her, even when the son was not understanding. Maybe some of us, we are struggling with our family members who are not in line with the faith. Maybe some of us, we have witnessed our brothers and sisters walking away from the faith. And we keep on petitioning God to listen to us, to shine his light upon them, to show them the right way. Today we are being taught by this great saint that we must never give up. We must always believe in a listening God. At that particular time, at his own time, he will respond. St. Monica died after the sun. At least found light. And these prayers that we keep on offering to God, even when we are dead, they will not be forgotten. They shall be remembered. God does not forget his righteous people, does not forget his faithful servants. He remembers what they ask for. He remembers their petitions. He responds at his particular time. We must keep on believing in a listening God, a God who listens to us, and in the proper time, he will respond to our petitions. That's why we must stay awake. We must stay firm. For the hour that we do not expect, he will respond. He will come to our aid. We must stay awake and firm in that firm faith of a listening God, a God who listens and answers at his own particular time. Let us approach our merciful Father with trust and faith and offer him our petitions. For the church, may Christ keep watch over her always and make her holy. Let us pray to the Lord. For those entrusted with leadership, may God give them the grace to see and to be thankful for the gifts in those under their care. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who feel far from God, may he remove every obstacle to their sense of security in him. Let us pray to the Lord. For those gathered here, may the Holy Spirit foster in us a constant desire to follow his promptings in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. For the dead, may they soon enter into the peace of the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. And for all of those special petitions and prayer needs that we hold within our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. We also bring our petitions to the Lord for Tony Valdez, Teresita Mariana, and Lalo Ramirez. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, hear and answer our prayers, which we offer to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. God is my soul at rest in him comes my salvation 
strength and my salvation. My stronghold, my Savior, I shall not be afraid at all. My stronghold, my Savior, I shall not be moved. Pray, my brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to all the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands. Praise and glory His name for our good and good of all His holy church. O oh Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow gracious on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. <clears throat> lift up your hearts. We lift them up. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exhortations we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his person, he took bread. And giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave the disciples to his, he gave the cup to the disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity together with the friends of our Pope, Gustav, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, Lord, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Monica, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And now let us pray with the Father in the words of our Savior taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, allowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not temptations. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us show it the other sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that it should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. And for those of us who may not be able to receive Christ in his body, you just fold your hands over your chest and you shall receive a blessing. We praise you, O Lord, for all your words are wonderful we praise you O Lord forever is your love your wisdom made the heavens and the earth O Lord you formed the land and set the light and like the love, the sun will rule the day, and stars will grace the night. We praise you, O Lord, for all your works are wonderful. We praise you, O Lord, forever is your love. You have chosen Jacob for yourself, O Lord, so tenderly you spoke his name, then called a holy nation Israel. And stars will make the night. We praise you, O Lord, for all your works are wonderful. 
We praise you, O Lord, forever is your love. You led us out of Egypt with a guiding hand. You raised your arm to set us free. And like a tender vine, you planted us to grow unto the sea. We praise you, O Lord, for all your works are wonderful. We praise you, O Lord, forever is your Together with our brothers and sisters, unable to receive Christ in his body, let us make a spiritual communion with them. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Our Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. I will come to you in the silence. I will lift you from all your fears. You will hear my voice, I claim you as my choice, be still and know I am here. Do not be afraid, I am with you. I have called you each by name. Come and follow me, I will bring you home, I love you and you are.